And you can tell when she's playing because you hear this thump, 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 click, 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 yeah. like that. <laughs> oh, George. <laughs> Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. Mark here, my wife Tara. Uh, she is all ready and packing. Uh, warmer weather is upon us. Uh, lots of projects we're doing, uh, putting in a solar array at the back here. Uh, we are letting the animals out today and Marlene has just arrived to give the animals some treats. And of course, we've got the new kid goats that we'd like no to snow. introduce you to. Well, yeah, there's no snow, there's a couple little spots around the, uh, the the north side of the buildings, but uh, overall, uh, it's beautiful. This is actually a good day to rake because the wind's going that way really strong. Yeah, <laughs> and then the wind will switch around and everything will blow this yeah. way. <laughs> there you go. Is that good, Levi? <laughs> yeah, windy. <laughs> the wind gets <laughs> Now we still have to move our um, hay bales, straw bales, uh, off the uh, the hill here, but they were frozen to the ground still. So we put these up here on our septic field, of course, to capture some snow and to insulate the field so it doesn't uh, doesn't freeze. Uh, Tara's opened up the barbecue area. I think we're, um, we're starting our open farm hours tomorrow, Sunday, which would be the day this video comes out. Uh, so that is all opened up now and ready to go. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at this mess. You guys are messy. <laughs> all right, of course the ducks and geese are out. And here they come. I figured we'd, uh, we'd feed these guys first before we let the other animals out. Just so that the, uh, the geese had a shot at, uh, at getting their treats. Oh, here comes the other ones from uh, yeah, the other side of the pond. They're like, oh, something's going on. Waddle over. Here we go, there's the pond opening up. The ice is melting. Uh, last night I threw in the, um, the pump in here. You can just still see the, the pipe sticking out of the ground. And it wraps around and comes up and fills up this pond here. So all the ice is gone. There was a, a big chunk of ice in the middle here, but now with everything moving, and our little river stream. And this is all starting to break up down here again. Uh, the windmill right here uh, is not hooked up quite yet. Uh, there's a, um, a weighted air hose here uh, that will put the air stone in and we'll throw it out uh, like normally into that area. Uh, then the, uh, uh, the water will get aerated by the windmill. And of course, this is gonna help aeration as well. Lots of noise out here this morning. So we'll let the uh, the animals out here shortly, but we're just going to feed them first. Everybody's waiting and itching to get outside. The sheep. <laughs> so we are going to be shearing these guys here. Um, I think next weekend or 10 days from now, I'm not sure, I have to check the schedule as to when the, um, the sheep shear is coming, uh, but um, we'll let them out for now and then watch the weather because we want to make sure that they're dry 
Oh, so noisy. Want to make sure they're dry uh, because, of course, shearing wet sheep can be difficult. Uh, and then we will probably keep them in for uh, five days a week to um, make sure that it's not too cold. Wow. Charlie. So eager. <laughs> Uh, so we did put the other two girls out here, a little snow, a.k.a. Uh, uh, well, sugar and spice. So um, she had her little one, which of course is in the house uh, because uh, she um, rejected. Uh, and then of course spice didn't have, uh, didn't have any kids. Hi Sheldon. Are you excited to be outside? <laughs> oh, here we go. Look at how the sheep are so polite. They just wait while the other ones go in. <laughs> they want to go in. Look at that. <laughs> okay, guys. You'll get your treats. Okay, back away from the door. That turbo, nothing to see here. Come on. Oh, here we go. I should have just stayed out. I was going to go in. All right, there we go. Oh, she's going to put them out there. Oh, here we go. They're like, oh, this is new. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Stuck sheep. <laughs> Oh, the pea fell or... Uh, you don't care what they're doing. No, they're like, we're outside and they've found... Oh, the grains. Aunt Tara threw some grains out here yesterday. <laughs> oh, Bronwyn's going back. Oh, she doesn't know what to do. She's like, do I go for grains or do I go for hay? Oh, summer's here, hey guys? Well, at least the warmer weather. Make them work for it now. Yeah. We can leave the door open. <laughs> Dee Dee and Piper getting their treats. I guess we can move that cage out. Um, some of you had asked, what is in that cage? Well, there was a pigeon that was injured. Uh, so we brought the pigeon in and um, did an isolation in there for a week or two. And uh, the pigeon's now gone. Uh, well, not gone, gone, but we put it back outside with its friends. Uh, so, um, so all's good there, all healed up. Jasper, his pee. Yeah. We'll get his cheese first. Come on, Jasper. The pig in your way. There you go, honey. Come to you. There you go. There oh, we now go. that's it. Oh. Peas. Peas. 
Jeez. Can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> The witch? Okay. Oh, George found the bridge. Okay. Oh, George. <laughs> okay, he's getting the itch. <laughs> oh, I think we need to reinforce that a little bit, buddy. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get all that wool off. Look at the tongue come out. He's like, oh, that hits the spot right there. <laughs> now, this bridge doesn't really get used all that much, although yeah, it gets used as a scratching post more than an actual bridge. <laughs> oh, George. Yeah, it's uh it's hard to scratch when you have all that wool. <laughs> Welcome, Piper. Oh, and Petey is there. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I was waiting for Piper or Petey to come out. Sunshine. So Tara did remove the plastic off of the um, barbecue area, uh, but we're gonna leave it on here until after the sheep are sheared, uh, just in case we have some, we're supposed to get some colder weather again that dips back down uh, in a week or so in around the time of shearing. So we wanna make sure that when they're sheared, uh, they've got some shelter to be in and um, if it does get cold again for a short time, um, they've got their, uh, they're protected from the, uh, any wind that blows in and out. Come on outside, look, you can go, yeah, there you go. It's like, wow, what is this strange new world? <laughs> oh, okay, the kids are coming out, see? Everything's going on here. Hey, come on. No, Coco, not the brain. Get outside. You're causing major mayhem here. Coco, you've got your baby. Oh. No, not the brain. <laughs> you don't uh, go yeah, where is Coco's baby? So in there? You forgot your baby. You don't want the food. No, no to the food. Okay, come on, Mama. Yep, yep. Take her in. Coco! Your baby's here. All the kids reunited. There's Coco's baby. She just leaves it behind. No, that's not your baby. All the moms are trying to find their kids. And all the kids are trying to find their moms. Are you confused yet? Okay, come on. <laughs> wow, wow. Uh, go find mama. Go find mama. Don't go just in the, like, she's like. <laughs> she's like, it's, it's open season, I'm out of here. All right, so we've got uh, the mamas out and Moana. Hi, Moana. So her kid was born um, later in the week. So only a couple days old. So we're gonna give them a little bit more bonding time. Hey, oh yeah. So, um, so Tara came out, it was early in the morning. I think she said it was about 7 a.m. Um, she went, she was having her coffee and she was watching the uh, the camera feed and she noticed something was going on so she uh, she headed on out here and um, she was still I guess she maybe wasn't quite dilated yet 
Uh, but there was a lot going on, so she focused on that. And then uh, a little bit later, she noticed that she was in labor, but one leg was stuck. So she had to actually come out and, um, uh, and help out. Guessing from the look of the back end, it's a little girl. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, my guess is a girl. <laughs> is that a little girl? So we had boys, quite a few boys right at the beginning. Uh, and then uh, it looks like the girls came afterwards. So we'll give them uh, a couple more days uh, together to bond. Uh, and then uh, maybe they won't lose each other like the other kids and moms did. <laughs> uh, look at those little floppy ears. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who's your mama? <laughs> this one's easy. Guess who's that one is? <laughs> That's Holly's. Yeah, Charlie, mommy's outside. Charlie, it's outside. <laughs> The other ones are a little harder to tell apart, but uh, it'll take a little bit of time. That's Moana's. Moana's? No, Moana is inside. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, it looks similar. So that's... Yeah. Very similar. Come on, kids. Miriam, yeah. And little John. Okay, who's out here? There's little John. Oh, there's little John there, yeah. That's Coco Screamer in there. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's I'll like, nah. She's like, ah, the kid's fine. Oh, she's actually looking. It looks like. What? Are you excited? Are you excited? Ma. I don't know why your baby sounds like this is yours. Yeah. <laughs> That's your baby. Yeah. There we go. Onyx, you just eat. You don't let mama push you around. Just <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> I was wondering where that little one was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta get them straight. Okay, so Coco's got her little. Oh, he's over here. Yeah. No, I'll have to put a shallower water bowl. And Holly's got one of hers. The other one is inside. <laughs> you can tell who's. Uh, you can tell Holly's. Ma Mama's boy. 
Yeah, Mo Holly's are easy too. <laughs> and little John's pretty easy. Um, some of the other ones that are similar in color. It's It'll take a little bit of time to, to it's cocos and petunias. get it squared. Yeah, yeah. Or no, Billy Jean? No. Well, Billie see, Jean. that's see, that's the thing. We got to Billy Jean and cocos, right? Look similar. Yes. Yeah, they've got that streak down the back. Yeah, well, you and I are going to have to have a little chat, buddy. Hey, thank God I had that basket. <laughs> yeah, Holly's are easy, Jazz and Joey. Those are the only ones that are two. Petunia Petunia and Holly have Marian, the twins, right? Mary, Mary, Petunia is Mary and Little John. Mm. So they're the only two with two. Coco's got crybaby, <laughs> and he's more gray on the side. She, I don't even didn't even check to see if it was a boy or a girl. Uh, a girl. looks like girl, and uh, it looks like uh, Moana's is a girl as well. Okay, so that's from what I can see. Yeah, so it started out with boys. Yeah, three and boys. then uh, and yeah. then we switched it up to girls so near the end. Eight babies in total, right? Yeah, and then Billy Jean has a little one that looks like Carl. Yeah. yeah. But this one has more gray in it, right? Yeah, that's good. Coco's got yeah. more gray. And beige. Yeah, so Coco's is a little uh, bit more think, um, more yeah. shaded on the back, on the sides. Joey and Marion are like, they're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get them to come out. Mama, yeah, they're bouncing yeah. around Mama, in there. Yeah, that's, that's Mama's boy. So back up at the house uh, and moving on to the next project. Uh, so down here you can see, uh, if you look, you can see Tara just over there. Uh, so that is the site of the, uh, the new solar array. So it's a 10.5 uh, kilowatt solar um, panel system uh, that's going to go right along uh, the edge of that building there. And then it's going to come up to uh, about to where this tree is right over here. Uh, and then that's going to leave this section over here open for uh, maybe a gate uh, that's going to go in there so we can take the tractor in and out. Uh, so I thought that was the best place. But we need to cut down some of these trees that are here. A lot of these really tall ones up here are pretty dead and uh, they need to come down and they're within striking distance of the solar array. Uh, so that is what we're doing there. There's Tara there waving away. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to uh, put the camera down and go out there and uh, help clear. And then we're going to go in and check on the little ones inside. Okay, we're back in the house. And we're going to let these two little monsters run around. <laughs> so what's happening is um, Carla, uh, Car well, this is Carla. <laughs> So she was, of course, abandoned by, who was that? That was Bill, no, Snow. That was Snow, Little Snow. And Shy, uh, Shiloh, Shiloh. Shiloh. Oh, names. <laughs> Shiloh is a Dorper lamb. Uh, and um, she was also abandoned by, uh, by a mom at another farm. So we took her in and it was uh, temporary. And the temporary ends today. So she is actually going um, home to her new farm. What are you doing? Chewing on, hey, chewing on, chewing on the shoes. She's, uh, she's really getting into chewing. Oh, and you can tell when she's playing because you hear this thump, 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 click, 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 yeah. like that. <laughs> we were downstairs yesterday oh. and we heard her from downstairs. <laughs> What the heck's going on up there? Yeah. So she just kind of does some jumps in her pen. Oh, so I'll take the, oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> All right, let's chew on me. Oh, to get both of them, Carla just wiped out. <laughs> oh. Recording baby goats. It's a challenge. It is a challenge. Don't play in the water, Carla. <laughs> Don't play in the water. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, oh, they're fun. So our house babies. Did you finish? Did she, did she just pee? Yes, but oh. did she finish? I thought. Oh yeah, a pee. See, this is not hardwood floor. This is actually vinyl sheet flooring. So it works good for uh, animals in your house. <laughs> if you should ever need to have goats and sheep in your home. Good. Works good for dogs and cats too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh. Whoa. <laughs> So that concludes another episode of what's going on here at the 10 acre woods uh, we cut down about 20 trees so uh, we're going to take it easy i don't know a lot of people probably think 20 trees <laughs> is not taking it easy but <laughs> uh, i think they're going to be uh the plans are to put the solar array in the found like the foundation the framework up uh, I think at the beginning of June. Anyway, that is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to put them down in the comment section and we will see you in the next video. Take care. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.